Hey up everyone. So uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how to install uh, the CM12 Lollipop ROM for the Galaxy S4 Mini. Uh, it's quite straightforward so not too complicated uh, but uh, be aware that you know doing this will avoid the warranty on your device and as always I'm not responsible if anything bad does occur although it shouldn't occur if you follow the steps uh, quite reasonably so basically first things first you need to uh, get everything that you need and put it on a folder on your desktop so what you need is the official ROM uh, from XDA I'll leave the links in the video description for all these things get the one which is relevant to your device so mine is the i9 195 there is another variant and uh, you also need Odin as well which you can get from that URL Odin 307 you need the clockwork mod custom recovery file from this URL and you also need the routing tool uh, which uh, you can get from this URL <laughs> And you will need Google Apps for Lollipop, which you can get from this uh, page. You can either have a full lot of them or a more slimmed down lot. It's up to you. So just make sure it's a Lollipop version. So once you downloaded all those things and they're in the folder, you need to drag the uh, ROM to your S for mini well first actually you need to extract uh, the clockwork custom recovery and then drag uh, the ROM as well as Google Apps to your S4 mini as you can see there I've already done it so it's coming up with uh, that I'm going to replace the one on there but I don't need to but just drag the root tool the ROM and the Google Apps to your S4 Mini so it's all ready then on your S4 Mini you need to basically put on uh, USB debugging you can do that by going into the settings about device and then going to build number hitting that a number of times and then if you go back to developer options hit USB debugging and then that's on make sure everything's on your device as I said before so you can see them there and then uh, here you can go into download mode on your device as well as start Odin on your PC download mode is power uh, volume down and home button then volume up button after that connect to your computer and Odin will detect it and then click PDA on Odin and go to uh, the custom recovery file the TAR file which you need to have unzipped and then just basically click start and then that will install the custom recovery then on your device you need to go into the uh, recovery custom recovery by turning off the device then pressing power on then after you hear the rumble press volume up and home button at the same time and you'll go into your custom recovery and then you just need to navigate using the keys to install the root software on your device 
the root kit. And that will then install on your device and your device should then be rooted. Your warranty is now void, enjoy. Very nice message there. So you can reboot your device now. Worthwhile doing an Android backup here as well. You can do that by downloading the app from the Google Play Store. Uh, installing BusyBox and disabling Knox. So just do your backup, save it to a place you can recover if you need it. But Super SU will come there when your device is rooted. So uh, power off again. Then uh, go into the recovery again, hold the power button until it rumbles, then press the notification or well, the home button and the uh, volume up button. Take some practice, but you'll get used to it. Then once you're in there again, just uh, find your uh, cleared wipe data factory reset option and then go through that so wipe your data and format your cache and do that again with the cache partition wipe it So once you've done that, you're then free to install the ROM. So navigate to it using the volume up and volume down button. And then you can install the latest one, which you, as you can see is dated the 28th of December for me. But there could be later ones after this video is published. Just get the latest one from the link I've provided in the description and that will install. It will take a while to install but once it's done it will let you know. And then once that's done, you'll get a confirmation. Install from SD card was complete. And uh, you just then need to flash your Google Apps, which hopefully you've put on your phone, or you won't have any Google Apps on there. You can see that's the latest one for Lollipop. And I'm putting that in the install queue that will take a while to install and then once that's done you are basically finished with all that and uh, it's just a matter of going back again going back to reboot your device it'll ask you if you want to fix your root permission uh, you can try doing that if you're having any problems with root issues but I didn't so I didn't bother take a while to start up for the first time but don't worry about it and then you'll see that Android is upgrading And then you've done it. You just set it up as you would as any other device. You might get some errors here and there.
popping up, but that's mostly due to time and date being incorrect. For some reason, it, it set mine to like a really weird date, but uh, basically you're done. So just set it up and you're good to go. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you did, hit the subscribe button or like it. And I will see you next time. Enjoy the run. Cheers.